Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramza and welcome to Gramza Market Studies for Thursday, July 2nd. Let's take a look at what's going on with that NASDAQ market and what do we see here? Well, we see a market that went unchanged to higher. Again, as I said, I'm not looking for dramatic moves, basically sideways moved. We have employment numbers coming out on Thursday early because of the Friday close. Uh, and for the holiday weekend, I'm looking for a stronger close as we go into that weekend, but not a dramatic move unless we get some positive information coming out of Greece, really. The euro is weaker, the dollar stronger, that makes sense. It's also one more thing that implies a stronger close for Thursday's action. In the oops, interest rate markets, let's get over there. We see the same thing. We see some weakness here in the 10-year notes. Again, not a dramatic move. I don't expect that kind of behavior, but unchanged to lower is what I'm looking for as we go into the weekend. When it comes to the metals market, you know, this again, gold is acting like a market that wants to go higher. I just don't see the paper there to support it, the reasons for this market to rally. But I think we need to be on guard just in case that market decides to take off. Well, what about crude oil? Crude oil also, I think, makes sense fundamentally and also when we think about the strengthening of the U.S. dollar. Do I look for weakness as we go into Thursday's close? Yes, I do. Unchanged to lower, but not a dramatic move. You don't expect those kind of moves off of this. I think the soybeans, very orderly. It's the right kind of behavior. The market needs to stop and take a breath after you see that type of price action and I would look for more of the same right now as we went into this weekend. So Thursday unchanged is what we're looking for in soybean market. That concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me. I'm looking forward to being with you again and in the meantime take care.